standard procedure. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Guys, let's get straight to it with hesitation. So, Jamal Charlo, after losing to Canada Alvarez via the musician, has called out Terence Ball Crawford immediately after his defeat, of course, to Alvarez. He said, I want to fight Terence Crawford. I can fight Terence Crawford in my weight division. I will fight Terence Crawford. I'm waiting. Bro, that's the post fight um, interview of Jamal Charlo. What do you guys make of this Rick Wigger? A good fight? So Jamel called out Terence Crawford after losing to Canelo. Yeah, just now. Um, um, I think it's a very, very good fight. It's a sellable fight, but at the same time, Ch is Charlo still the undisputed champ in, in one fifty four? Let no, me ask you. I think, I think Charles, he's been. A, I think a, a Chizu has been a Teamzo. Is it Teamzo? His name Teamzo or Chizu? Teamzo has been, has, has been upgraded to a full champion now, yeah. but he's no longer oh, disputed. in, in, in the WBO. Disputed. Yeah, okay, so Charlo has three belts, or he doesn't have any belts. Of course, yeah, I, think, yeah, I think he has three belts, definitely. So, okay, okay. I mean, it's a very good fight for Crawford. Unfortunately, it's not going to be for the undisputed if it happens. Um, but that will be a very sellable fight. Charlo losing to Canelo, he didn't lose in a very devastating fashion, so his star power is still intact, and for that reason. Um, Ch Crawford versus Charlo, that is a very, very good fight. But that's not realistic. Crawford has a rematch against Errol Spence coming up. Why? I, I wouldn't be too excited about that yet until after the rematch with Spence. But after that rematch, a fight with J Jamel Charlo, excellent fight. How do I see the fight playing out? Um, I don't know, man. It's To me, it's 50-50. It's I don't know. I can't really say who is the better fighter. But yeah, that's my contribution. I think uh, Crawford's power is a little bit limited in a way. I don't think Crawford will be able to stop Charlo. I mean, Canelo through like through almost all the power. Charlo is more powerful than Crawford. Let's keep it right here, bro. Definitely. So, Definitely. Charlo, I have to give Charlo credit for for being for taking at least of course he took a knee willingly for sure, definitely. But because yeah. if he didn't, if he didn't take that knee, he would have Canelo would have jumped on him because he saw him hurt, right? Yes. Yes. So he took that, that was a smart veteran move there, taking it was, that knee. It was strategic. But yeah. However, I think it would be a very tough fight. And I don't know if Charlo would be afraid as it was, or I mean, would be afraid as it was against uh, kind of at the beginning, you know. So, um, yeah, Tajak, if this fight happens, I just if I play up, this will be a big fight right here, man. I'll tell you right now. I think Tyron Crawford uh, beats him. Um, Crawford, to me, has shown that he could perform and he could really, when he really, when he needs to, when he needs to count, he could really, you know, outperform and really push the pace. And when he need, when it's needed for a win, he can find a way to win. Listen, it's gonna trouble me. Just, just based on style, style, stylistically, you know, um, I, I said that Crawford has now. I think he's shown that he's levels above, above uh, the either Charlo, um, Errol, Errol Spence. He's levels above that. I think he's like, he is in, in that weight class. He is unbeatable. I, I, I believe so. Until he moves up and decides to challenge somebody in a, in a, in another weight class that is much tougher, you know. But as for me, I think um, I don't see, I don't, I don't think the, the Charlo could be the, could be Terence Buck Crawford, man. Stylistically, I think, it, I think Craw, I think Crawford has his number. I believe so. Just stylistically, I think Crawford has his number. Well. Do you think Charlo has the power to trouble Terrence Crawford? I can't tell, man. I I really don't know. He didn't trouble Carlo. I, that's the that's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. I, it, 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 like it, it surprised me a lot that he didn't trouble Carlo. He he did he landed on Carlo clean, but Carlo didn't feel it. It's a little bit weird. 
Yeah, bro, I don't Canelo, know. because Canelo was you wary. Canelo was, Canelo was wary of Bivol's power. He was wary of it. Like he when he, when bro, Bivol hit. This boy's classes are made for a reason. Crawford is Crawford is going to be coming up in weight. He would have issues dealing with Charlo's power. He will. And he started his career in like 135. Now he'll be fighting a guy that just fought in 168 and was eating the power punches of Canelo. I honestly don't think it's not it's gonna be a difficult fight for Terence Crawford. It, it's possible he wins. It's 50-50 in my opinion. Because Crawford is very, very skilled. But at the same time, he would have troubles with Charlo. Charlo is a bigger fighter. He's 1468. You're probably right, man. You know, you're probably right. You're calculating the way you're saying it, it sounds it sounds right. It sounds right. So let's Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, let's see what happens, bro. So guys, you're hearing from our brothers at Diwale and uh Todd Oh uh, keep subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you guys. We're now at 44,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Despite, you know, I've not been that, like, I don't remember that. I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to become active now compared to before. It's crazy, man. I have to thank you guys for the constant support. God bless you all. Keep growing. And hopefully we get 50K in the future. Stay with you guys.